Jalen, you've been going crazy. Ken Kaneki, Sasuke oh. Uchiha, Yuki Ora. All yeah. three of these dudes are potential D1 school threats. Like, bro, yeah. look at this nigga and tell me he wouldn't be yeah. the Michael Jordan of school things, bro. She broke my heart. Opium. Play more Cardi. Uh, honey, is this nigga okay? Leave him alone. I think he's edging. And you know, damn well, Sasuke hey, talking gonna whisper Naruto in class, like, you've always been nice to me. Don't come to school tomorrow. What did he say? Hey. Now, f that. Hitachi didn't wait. This is with Uchiha. Like, yo, don't say I'm all out, bro. Oh, Look at this no. starting lineup. One nigga got played by a goth girl and decided to join Opium. Another had his entire bloodline deleted and said, Streaks, these wounds cut deep. Nobody hit me up. Only the real ones know what's going on. And the last nigga was just born with mental health yeah. issues. He ain't smiled a single time in his entire life. Either way, let's go through their most emo moments, starting with Ken Kaneki, nigga. All right, so before I talk about Ken, let me give y'all a quick rundown of what the fuck happened to this nigga. But I'm going to explain it like I'm Patrick Star from SpongeBob, because... Fuck you. This is Ken Kaneki. Ken Kaneki horny for emo Asian girl with fat pussy. Ken tries to clap God girl's cheeks. God girl yes. ends up being too freaky for Ken Kaneki. Fuck? Ken Kaneki dies for Nash. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Dr. Siv Kaneki with emo Asian girl's organs. Ken feels like something is wrong, so he goes to check Mira. Alright guys, let's start right here when Kaneki was still the average R slash nice guy Redditor. Like this nigga's posture just pisses me off. Looks like he's ashamed of his own fucking penis. Like nah. damn, man, let that shit hang. You know damn well. Pencil dick Kaneki type of nigga to run into a bad bitch and start stuttering like I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm being so mean to this nigga, bro. I've been getting shit on in League of Legends. I gotta take my anger out something. Anyway, so then this down badass motherfucker walks in and Ken's shrimp dick ass is like, Hi, welcome to Arby's. Would you like to try a nasty ass fucking food? Nigga, this is Arby's. You know damn well I didn't come here to fucking eat. Where's my bitch at? Like, this man fully came in thinking he was Batman. Where is she? Like, relax, silly monkey. You're literally- huh? What the fuck? Oh, hell? From Rick Owens himself in about like 30 seconds. Anyways, so they get this man to calm down. They sit down for some tea. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. He's brave as hell for drinking that. All I'm gonna say is if a nigga came into my establishment and embarrassed me like this in front of the bitches, yeah, he's about to get a little bit of extra cream in his drink. And I'm gonna do an evil laugh as I hand it to him too. Here's your tea, nigga. <laughs> he finna drink that and start taking poison damage. Anyway, so it turns out he came here looking for Riz. Not Kaisen at Skibbity Toilet. Yeah, Riz. Phantom Time. Uh, nah, he's talking about the emo goth girl whose cheeks Kaneki tried to clap <laughs> before he got isekai'd into being an emo boy. Anyway, so Tuka's like, well, why the f*** would she be at Arby's? And he's like, well, I don't know. It's just something about Arby's always reminded me of her. Wait. Uh, who, whoever eats Arby's, whoever eats Arby's, you're done. You, do you want the meats? Do, do you want the meats? <laughs> No, why the fuck I smell her on you, nigga? This man literally starts breaking down in tears. Nigga, did you fuck my bitch? Uh, excuse me? Did she put it back in when it slipped out? No, bro, it's not even like that. She tried to kill me. Nah, he fucked my bitch. She started swinging on bro, but Ken joined Weave Nation and knocked dude out with his cranium. This man fumbled his first bad bitch and didn't know how to act. I can't even lie, I can't get mad at dude. I still remember the day I lost my first bad bitch, bro. Seven months later, she posted a picture of some brand new baby shoes. I damn near fell to my knees. Yes, my nigga. Seven months after we stopped talking, it takes nine to have a baby. Anyway, so bro wakes up, drinks another suspicious fluid from Kaneki. <laughs> That's gotta be racist. It's that girl flying with this Rick Owens ass boot. We give you one job and you couldn't even fucking do it. I'm gonna snitch on you to Ken Carson. You have five seconds to tell me where the bad bitch is. Then Tuka walks up and she's like, I'm the bad bitch. <laughs> Anyways, so then this giga nigga right here walks in and he just starts wilding out. Where's my emo bitch? Hey, James Charles. Yes. <laughs> Close that door. I'm finna do bad things to these niggas. All right, now everybody toot that ass up. I'm giving back shots tonight. Back shots? Hey, uh, it's mostly niggas in here. Oh, no. I did 10 years in Kaisen at stream. Hey, you think I give a f what kind of chicks I'm clapping? They smell like bitch in here. All y'all smell like bitch to me. And why your penis so little? Hey, James Charles, should I do it to this? Oh, man. You want to i don't think he could take it hey, so before yo. ken's on fox hey, news talking no. about how he got his booty snatched pull my drawers down and dug him up dug him up my rick Tuka <laughs> comes in trying to save dude but that shit hit as hard as pammy baby's mixtape nobody loves you 
If you want to hurt him, you're going to have to go through me. I ain't Jay-Z, shorty. I hit woman. Bitch, lock the fuck out of her. Guys, we got to stop. I I'm sorry. I can't do this. This video is over, guys. I don't support female abuse, woman abuse. Don't put your hands on girls. But... Smack him! God damn! Hey, guys. Leave a like for domestic violence. We the fuck out of it. Bro then proceeds to grab Kaneki by the throat and raise him to the sky like he was Simba from Lion King. And all this Damn. ruckus over one emo girl. And she wasn't even that bad. Really, nigga? Like if it was Yuri, then <laughs> shit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'd die for Nash too. But oh hey. shit! Y'all niggas fighting I'm over. Oh shit! You bugging. And I already know some of y'all finna be in the comments like she is very gorgeous to me. Go outside, nigga. You're fighting over pixels. Anyway, so buddy just starts stomping on Kaneki like he was one of those trash ass prank channels from 2016. Some Stepping on a little nigga prank. Go in violence. But Ken wasn't trying to go out like an Astro World victim. So he summons the darkness within him and starts trying to regain his composure, but he gets his back blown out. Then Tuka tries to jump back in. Flat him! Gets knocked the fuck out. Why am I gonna go down? You're not even rocking Rick. You're not even a person. Ew. And where are the slits on your wrists? You'll never be able to join Opium. Mom and dad were right. This is just a phase. <laughs> a phase? <laughs> this is the real me. The darkness inside of me. Now die, Nick. <laughs> This man really packed his own sister up just so he could go around acting misunderstood. Anyway, so after that, buff dude grabs Ken's noggin and starts doing him the way I do Neon. If I caught that annoying ass little nigga on the street, and he just starts no, smashing his man's face into the counter, trying his hardest to give him teeth like he was from the UK. Mate, please, bro, I just work here. You fucking what, mate? <laughs> slammed our brother in Christ's head so hard, I deadass wouldn't be surprised at all if he woke up with severe. <laughs> slammed our brother in Christ's head so hard, I deadass wouldn't be surprised. Nico, how many cigarettes do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> what? Surprised at all if he woke up with severe brain damage, started talking like a little baby. Cats. Aww. What kind of cat do you like? Siamese cats or regular cats? He's abusing this man like with a God of War button mash, and even the emo niggas just standing over here uncomfortable. Uh, I'm literally a vamp, and even this is too much blood. The only one enjoying this shit is James Charles in the corner, low key jerking off. Hey, sister. Fuck. Don't call me that shit. I just my fault. Let's, let's take this back to Opium Headquarters. <laughs> That's for the bit. They got our dog Ken in a Saw movie. Hello, random nigga watching this video. You have 10 seconds to leave a like and a comment. And maybe even subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Anyways, where the f do they got this man at, bro? Got the zebra print tiles. Is this an underground emo dance club? You know they was fucking shit up in here. Look at oohs, oohs, oohs. And they got our dog Ken looking rough out here. Knees ashy as shit in dire need of some lotion. Who the fuck painted this man's nails? Must have been James Charles. And we don't even got to look. You already know they took the J's off this man's feet. Anyway, so he wakes up and sees this nigga just standing there with his back turned. Yes, nigga, we see the v -Lone. And he's chilling there like they weren't just beefing five minutes ago. <laughs> hey, nigga, you play 2K? Oh, I never introduced myself. My name is J. Jason. Jason. Jason uh, what? Voorhees, nigga? And he bought the uh, hockey mask straight off of Timu. Like, nah, the dick riding is crazy. This is almost as bad as Draymond. And that man, LeBron, he might as well take LeBron's daughter's spot in the family. She can't hoop. Send her to the orphanage. She's the odd one out. Anyway, so then he starts torturing Kaneki in the worst ways imaginable. Put anti-emo juice in his eye just so he'll feel the pain of chopping each of his fingers and toes off. Like, how's he supposed to resell his feet pics on grill now, man? What the fuck? Then he woke up with this Damn. fucking abomination of God's creation. If you gave me the spawn point of these little shits, I'd pull up with three bazookas with switches, Zoro style, nigga. I'll go fuck. Peter gonna have to see me. You ever heard of Coyote Peterson? No. I'm Coyote Peterson. No. no. And I'm about to no. be bitten no. by the giant. And worst of all, in my opinion, he made this nigga sit down and have a conversation with Dream. Man, it doesn't matter if she's 15, my nigga. I like young girls. I like them 15, 14, 16. I like them real young, my nigga. But Kaneki's 13th no. and final reason why was when he brought out this cute ass couple and said, All right, little bro, choose one of them to hoop with Kobe tonight. No. 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 I can't do it. I can't pick one. Uh, nigga, if you don't pick one, I'm gonna just kill both. And you know, the goat Kobe's just watching from heaven, like, Yeah, bring both of them. Everyone up here sucks oh, ass. And at this point, Ken's oh, so depressed, no. all he can do is recite XXX Tentacion lyrics. I wanna die, yeah. No, I'm not alright, yeah. <laughs> and Jason just looks up, bro, like, Is this nigga serious? And he just grabs his wife's neck. This nigga only beats on women. Is he King Sid? And her husband trying to be Captain oh. Save a Hope is crying out like, I'll let you out of a 22, my wife. Just save her. Moonlight, spotlight. Shit, why you tripping? Get your moonlight. Please. It's not. It's too late, nigga. Ah.
Y'all crying? Yeah, this man looking like Jesse Pinkman, bro. He's mad. Oh, shit. Ah, sorry, pal. He, he ain't choose, so I gotta take both of y'all. Oh, man. The funniest part is all this dumbass had to do was pick one person to survive, and the other one would have lived. But nah, bro froze. He hasn't moved in 20 minutes. Anyways, at that point, it was too much for Ken. He snapped mentally. Y'all go have to correct me in the comments, but I think he started hallucinating seeing the emo Asian girl with fat pussy. And she basically said, You're a pussy ass little dick nigga. If you actually had some fucking balls, you would have saved the mom. Your penis is small, can I? If your penis wasn't two inches, you could have saved your friends. Shrimp dick. Shrimp dick. If it swung side to side when you walk, your homie wouldn't keep taking L's. I, you're okay. Don't talk to me, man. Every time we're on a two man and you whip it out, the girls always leave, man. They always leave. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. And it all started with your bitch ass mom, who was an even bigger pussy than you. That's why she died, Damn. nigga. It's not too late, though. Stop holding back. Become a true top floor opium final boss vamp. You're right. And he breaks out of the chains. I don't know why they put him in this weird ass position, but huh? she basically says, now come over here and eat this fat emo booty, nigga. And he obliges, and that's when he finally accepts his true nature and says the most iconic line in the series. I am the Tokyo Ghoul or some shit like that. <laughs> anyway, so Jason from Panabai comes back and he's like, hey, so uh, there's some niggas outside and uh, kill every last one of those Playboy Cardi dick riders. Matter of fact, niggas, give me that gun. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. All right, Sergeant, what's the latest? Sir, Shorty from HQ says she took your bike and she's gonna get a jumper gun. Bitch, what are you doing? That's my shit. <laughs> Suck my balls, nigga. Fuck okay, gang, a little gang shit. No, 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 I don't have insurance. What the fuck? Time to die, you emo shit! Hey yo, what the fuck? Huh. Okay. Okay, all done. Yeah, so I gotta eat you and go handle that. And then this nigga just starts tweaking. He saw the goth girl inside Kaneki and started getting freaky talking about some. That's still Kaneki you're talking about. I think James Charles is starting to rub off on this nigga. Anyways, Ken don't swing that way, so he breaks out of his chain. Shout out Black Lives Matter. Wraps his chain around this man's neck and starts choking him out with it. And he's like, Turn it up. that fire starts playing. She get deal, she get deal. He really took a bite on this motherfucker and said, Ugh, you taste disgusting. What the fuck? Nigga, did you bite me? Yeah, and it was yeah, nasty. You tasted yeah. just like Arby's. Anyways, after getting disrespected uh. like that, Jason pulled out his H anime tentacles to try and murk Kaneki, but he just elegantly dodges them and then tries to hit bro with that soaring axe kick that me, bro, be spamming. But Jason blocked it and was like, ah, I've got you now. <laughs> Nigga, you've activated my trap card. And he turns his leg into a Twizzler just to kick you in the head. <laughs> Shit looks like rated R Looney Tunes. That was the silliest fucking gore I've ever seen. You should have killed me when you had the chance. Uh, I'll kill you. I'll kill you and swallow you whole. Hey, yo. Like, can you please stop saying sus shit? I only fuck with goth girls. So they get back to boxing and Ken tries to steal St. Thomas' whole fucking flow. This shit ain't work. And this nigga starts giggling like a schoolgirl thinking he won. <laughs> But Ken ain't finished. He came out with the smoke blasting that destroy lonely. He not playing no games. Jumped that dude the same way the emo Asian go with the fat heart did. And he start clashing. I ain't gonna lie yeah, to y'all. The folks yeah. that watch this shit, I was convinced Tokyo Ghoul might be the greatest anime of all time. Had me thinking they sacrificed someone to cook this shit up because ain't no way this is that beautiful until I watched season two. You know, just let's just act like that shit didn't exist. Anyway, so Ken fucked his ass up. Had him hitting the Yamcha pose. And this nigga Petty, he's like, tell me I'm opium. <laughs> Tell me I'm opium. fucking opium. <laughs> I'm not playing with you, bastard. Tell me I'm fucking opium. <laughs> You're opium. You're opium. Good. Now you ready to see a whole lot of red? Yo, that's so fucking tiny. All right, y'all, so I was gonna talk about Sasuke versus Itachi and Yukiora, but this video is already damn near 14 minutes long. So 20K likes, I'll make a part two. I swear I'm gonna get consistent with uploads and me, CJ, Codename Super, and Philly started a group channel, so go check it out. Love y'all. Peace.